We tried this last night, an interview with a guest I do not know, and Cowboys Hall of Famer Drew Pearson showed up. So let's find out who's behind door number two tonight. Dale, it's Mike Madonna, <laughs> your favorite sports athlete of Dallas. Yeah. Wait a minute, though. No. Mike, they said earlier that it was going to be one of the great names in sports history. Are, are, are you substituting for somebody? Oh. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. I, for, oh, I, I joke. I joke. I'm I joke. used to that. Hey, what happened to your hair, that. by the way? Oh, when you have 14 kids, that's what happens. <laughs> Hey, I do have I do have a quasi serious question for you. What was harder uh, when you made the move from Minnesota, playing hockey in Dallas or selling the game of hockey in Dallas? I think selling it, especially to you, that was a hard sell. <laughs> you know, it still is, I think, to this day. So, I figured we all thought once we got Dale hooked on hockey, we uh, we were in good uh, we were in good hands. But uh, man, we're still we're still working on it to this day. So it's been a hard sell for you. I well, it, it's a little bit of a hard sell for me, but it won't be uh, going forward. But but without you, I mean, you do know this, right? Without you, they had no chance to sell the game, certainly to me. But I, I don't think they could have sold it in Dallas without you. Well, we uh, we tried our best. We all had a fresh start at things and uh, we look forward to uh, the challenge and uh, no one would have ever imagined in a million uh, years how it turned out in Texas. We were, uh, we were pretty fu fortunate. We, uh, and to get your backing and the fans yep. and the support of Texas, we got pretty lucky. Okay, I, I'm done kissing up to you here. Tell the story if, as, best, as best you can remember it uh, when we played golf at Trophy Club. Do you remember the day? You remember the game? I try not to remember. Yeah, that. well, you know why? You hit you seven me every year I see here, you. Let me do it because I do highlights better than you. You hit 17 greens in regulation. You shot 76. I hit six greens in regulation and hit a ball in the water on 18 and shot 75. Is that maybe the worst day of your sporting life? It may have been. And that's what I think when I went to the long putter. <laughs> can, can, you, can you at least putt a little bit better now? I got the claw going. You should. It's it's pretty. Uh, feels pretty good. Yeah. Feels pretty good. Well, might have to have a rematch. We walked. We on, no, we're not having the, a we rematch. Might hit from the red zone. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> we might both have to do that. But we walked off the 18th green. And I don't know if you remember this, but it's true. I said you looked at me and you said you might be the worst ball striker I've ever played <laughs> golf with. And I said I know. And you owe me twenty dollars. Hey, <laughs> I told this story the other day on the air. Do you remember when you were playing a game? The lovely Mrs. Hanson and I were sitting on the ice. They were dropping the puck. You looked up and you winked at us. Now, were you winking at me, her, or the cute girl behind me? Probably Mrs. Hanson. Yeah. I was like, how can she do this deal all this long? <laughs> she's like, a, God bless her heart. She's a saint, my friend. She's an absolute <laughs> saint. How many, uh, now that you have retired, incidentally, uh, how, how many children do you have now? Um, Na five. Na name them. Jack and Kate are seven. Uh, Reese five, Luca three, Quinn one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not correct. So I got a late start, Dale. I'm telling you. I yeah. Got a late start. Yeah, I know you got a late start, and now you're trying to repopulate the world. The <laughs> great Mike Madonna, ladies and gentlemen. You're one of my absolute favorites, Mo. You know that. Thank you for doing Thank you, this. Dale. Thank you. Mike Madonna, everybody. Hey.